You're watching House of You. My name is Alexis Montgomery. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Daytona Beach, Florida. My name is Chaz Williams. I'm from a small town, Claremont, Florida. I'm 28 years old. Let me pump a little bit. Oh yeah, you're good. Don't cover the muscles, girl. People want to see that. Can you see the logo? Get the yeah. gist of it? I am James Davis. I'm 34 years old. I'm originally from New York, but currently I'm from Florida, South Florida. And I'm Katie Davis. I'm uh, from Delray Beach, and I'm 30 years old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My name is Emmanuel Banks. I'm from Camden, New Jersey. Originally born there, raised in Palm Beach, Florida. I'm 33 years old. Well, so I'm in, uh, how many shows have I done? This would be my eighth show this year. First year doing shows, actually. And um, up until this Nationals, I've competed in about 15 shows. Up until Nationals, I've competed in about eight or nine shows, mostly bodybuilding. I did pretty good as a middleweight. Doing eight shows in one year is pretty tough, but uh, my body stays lean. I'm competing in men's physique, class D. I'm competing in the E division. E division, we're gonna have to start that over. <laughs> the bikini. I will be competing in the men's open bodybuilding super heavyweight class. And I'll be competing in the women's uh, physique, I believe, but, um, I don't know, I'm sorry. Don't, don't do that, just keep okay. going. Um, I'll be competing in the uh, physique division, class B. Very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Some people watch say, oh no, she's got enough muscle to be a man too. She may be doing the guys stuff. Uh, I'm competing in the bikini division in class E. Alexis Montgomery, I'm going to let you uh, start this one. Oh, okay. Alexis Montgomery, hi. <laughs> she and I bumped heads the very first day. Um, I gotta say, there's something special about someone who wants to start shit with me. Continuously. Emmanuel Banks is basically my favorite person ever. <laughs> I love him. He has this shining personality about him. I love to hear him talk. Every time he talks, it's entertaining to me. He's very knowledgeable and he's very sweet and I know he cares about me too. So that makes me feel closer to him. And I'm really happy he's here. He, he literally brightens up my whole day. Emmanuel Banks. I like that guy a lot. You know why? Because he dances with me all the time. He loves dancing. Babyface, Emmanuel Banks. This guy ought to be somewhere singing love ballads because he is the smoothest, well, sometimes. Other times he's just, who are you? Shoot, I forgot which one I'm in. I can't even remember. I can find out right now. Give me one second. You threw me off just then, I wasn't, I, you just told me that too. But um, another one that's slightly not ready for nationals, but you know, with the proper coaching and conditioning, he could probably do something. Again, I don't know what it is with these guys at the House of Huge and those stems. They don't like to work them. Their legs look like they should be picket signs or something. But decided to make the switch to uh, physique to uh, branch out a little bit, a little more mainstream. Hopefully, I get an old magazine or something. You know, Manuel is he's a Scorpio. I am too. <laughs> but we're two different sides of the scale there too. But you know, all right, guy. Just don't try to read him because it's not worth it. Mariani is a positive, bright force of nature. Master English, so I can understand you, Mariani, but she's an all right girl. At first, I didn't read her correctly. She kept bumping into me. 
Yeah, she, uh, yeah. she's like, oh boy, you're big, and just boom, 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 punched him like seven times in the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I hope you didn't break anything, girl. But she's a... Oh, James, oh. James Davids, James Davids. I gotta say that he's a big guy, and he's so shy. He's a very shy guy, but he got a big heart. He's just really high energy, really just like in your face. And he's just like, you know, excited about everything that excites her. I don't think anything, you know, like piece of chicken. Oh my God, like she just like, everything excites her, so. Mariana would be excited if she fell down the stairs. <laughs> she would get fall up. down the stairs, Woo! get up. Oh, I fell down the stairs, everybody come look at me. And I'm like. He is like, I barely talk to him because being so shy, I'm like, make me back up a little bit. I'm yeah, you wake, wake up in the morning and uh, you hear her like, da -da -da -da! hello, beautiful. Like, just, you know, James is just like, oh my God. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> she's really cool. She's fun. Yeah, you don't need a muzzle. No, okay, she doesn't need a muzzle. I'm just kidding. Yeah, she's okay, so let me just give to him the room. But uh, I think he's like very into himself. He's so concentrated on the way that he's going that he's like not even talking with most of every single us, you know? It's like, I don't know, kind of something right there on his mind, wondering what it is. And I'm like, listen, I can't do that and I can't translate what you're saying. Speak slower. You're watching House of You. House of Huge is being brought to you by Life will put you to the test. If you want to be extraordinary, you have to break it down, then build it back up stronger. It starts with a decision in your mind, and then your body will follow. Pain is just weakness leaving your body, leaving behind the strength you never knew you had. Become beautifully unbreakable. Women'sProtein.com. You're watching House of Huge. So, Chaz, <laughs> he's a good looking dude. <laughs> um, I train hard, um, just sold my smoothie shop, so had a little bit more time to play with stuff, don't have to work as much, and I'm just training and living the dream right now. Yes. What can I say about him? <laughs> Chess, uh, Chess Williams. That's something that I can say that is on fire right now, and um, I don't really want to say too much. He's just, he's just, he's mellow, he's just, like, whatever. Not ready for nationals. I'm not saying anything. I just did. What I think about Alexis and Shelly, I think they're very beautiful people. Um, they're very sweet. And uh, they're all super focused on what they want. Mike Sinkoviak, good guy, you know, good guy. I think uh, he needs a little bit more prep work. I think he needs, you know, to nail his conditioning in order to do well at nationals. But as a person, I like him. I think he's a great guy. Um, as a competitor, I think he needs better coaching help with it. Um, because these boys at Nationals are not, not playing yet. games. And, you know, I'd like to see him do well, but we'll see. Uh, the Cannon, Shelly Cannon, you know, again, she's a nice person, good person. I haven't really had too much interaction with her due to another head bumping schedule. Um, 
She, I think, needs to be better prepared for nationals as well, but I don't know because figure is a very strange uh, competition. They look for slightly soft, slightly this, depends on what mood they're in, blah, 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 blah. And she has seven different looks. So she's uh, an all right girl. You're watching House of You. It's day one of House of Huge, and the cast is loading into the van after the cast meet and greet to move into the House of Huge for the very first time. Five men and five women are on their way to the House of Huge for the very first time. Cast members exit the van and are blown away by their new digs. Oh man, when we pulled up to the house, I was flabbergasted. I'm like, wow, this place is huge. I mean, Heated pool outside, jacuzzi, three floors. I mean, the view is nice. You got the ocean sitting right outside. But baby, to relax a little bit. It'll work. The cast has no idea they are in store for an even bigger treat when they're welcomed by none other than eight-time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman. Looking to have a lot of fun. I'm Ronnie Coleman, eight-time Mr. Olympia. I want to welcome you out to the House of Heat. <laughs> When, when I, you know, when I saw Ronnie walk out the house, you know, what came to my mind was, uh, you know, ain't nothing but a peanut. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, you know, we got big Ron. You know, it's going down. It's going down. I'm, I'm, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. We got big Ron. I can't wait to hit the gym. You know what I mean? And work out with him. Get a little bit in. Good luck, good luck. All right, all right. Yeah, buddy. I ready to have some fun? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Today's on. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good.
this out. Wow. Ronnie, this is Jewelry. gorgeous here. This is huge. This, this is, is nice. huge. This is yeah. beautiful. Eight-time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman gets to know the cast and gives out their brand new OGO Flex Form 5 bags. Hey, we got bags here for everybody. So uh, when, they, when you raise, when, you raise uh, when I call your name, you raise your hand. That's what I'm trying to say. Why don't everybody raise your hand at once, in other words. Okay, Isabella. Chad, 
Then the cast is sent on its way to the first challenge of the week. Rapid fire! 
Well, when we pulled up to the gun range today, um, we knew what our first challenge was, so it was a good one. Um, you look small, but it's okay. I can shoot. <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit about safety on the range. First thing and rules and guns is safety. The more important ones. As guns is not, can be very cool, very nice, very things to be doing for pleasure, but kill. So we need to be very careful on the range. If we follow three, four rules for life, nothing will happen. Even if you have a thousand guns like me, home and kids around, nothing will happen. There's no accidents at all. Pulling up to the gun range, I was really excited because my first time at a gun range was actually a month before today. And when I saw it, I was like, I hope we're going to the gun range. And then we got out and turned out that we were going there. And I was like, heck yes, because I love shooting. It's fun. And you get like a very, very high adrenaline rate, like rush off of it. So I was really excited. Cut. You need to take the mat, clean the gym, put the mat to do it again. Well, we pull into the gun range and uh, I'm thinking this should be fun. Uh, and easy, but um, I don't know. I'm thinking Katie with her boobage hanging out because she we've done this before, so she knows she's stubborn. Well, the third rule think the gun is loaded at the time. Well, we know it's not loaded because we check it out, but you need that. But um, tell you the truth, I couldn't see nothing, I didn't have my contacts in, I was just shooting, but I did decent so. Today when we pulled up to the gun range, my first thought was I cannot believe I've never even shot a gun before, I'm so going to lose this competition. And it's just... When we were sitting in the room listening to our instructor tell us about the safety rules about guns, it actually gave me some anxiety because last time, the first time I was at a gun range, someone actually did shoot the ceiling and it scared me to death. I was like, I don't want to be in the same room as this person right now, please get them out. And I just wanted everyone to make sure all the safety precautions because it's my worst fear to honestly die. And I don't want to get shot. That would hurt really bad. That's bad right now. She pointed her gun for me. That's not a safe direction. We are sitting in the classroom. I was paying very close attention because uh, I'm already a nervous person as it is and I know how dangerous guns can be but um, also because I wanted to kill it in the competition. So <laughs> any little piece I could get, any tip, I was uh, open for it. Because you weren't hearing me ask the question, said, I think they got it. I think I got it what? Shooting semi out there. Okay, okay. Right? Okay. So I got it. I got it. Got it? Yeah. All right. Safety. You ready? You got it, right? <laughs> Come on. Position here. You up? Yeah. Is that one just push? Uh, I like it. <laughs> it's huge. Right. 
Life will put you to the test. If you want to be extraordinary, you have to break it down, then build it back up stronger. It starts with a decision in your mind, and then your body will follow. Pain is just weakness leaving your body, leaving behind the strength you never knew you had. Become beautifully unbreakable. Womensprotein.com But uh, so I just shot you. Um, I wanted to get that X, but it wasn't all that great. Mm. I didn't really. I hit, you know, around it. I think I just. Hey. Hey. One bullet off of the actual like target, but. I think you had three. I yeah. got one, and I hit the rest of the hit. All the rest went on the uh, target. Mm. Well, yeah, I was thinking. Damn, I'm going to miss everything because my hands are sweaty and they're shaking every time I pull the trigger. The gun was a little light, but that's okay. The caliber was fine. It's just that every time I would pull the trigger, I thought the gun was going up there like that. So. so I thought I was going to be shooting the ceiling or something, but... I showed my marksman skills anyway, you know. If anything's light for you, I mean, look at this... Right before I shot my very first shot, I had noticed that my target was a little bit sideways, just a little bit, but I feel like it can change the way that I shoot. So, and I also have contacts and they're not working for me anymore. I need a new prescription. <laughs> After I emptied my first clip, um, I knew I wanted to do better the second time. So after my second magazine was clipped in, um, he, the instructor, he kind of showed me how to use a better technique to shoot better. I didn't like the way he wanted me to stand, but I agree that leaning forward is better so that you have better aim. And um, I also, he wanted me to stick both of my feet beside each other, but I like one back because I feel like I have better stance. So I agreed with some of the instruction that he gave me, but the other I kind of did on my own. So you're ready to start shooting. Hey, I just aimed in the middle and that's what happened. I geared up, got all the headphones and the, the safety goggles on, and I was the second group in the second group to go. So I was so impatient. I was just like tapping my fingers, like, I'm ready to do this, I want to do this. Um, and I was the first person to go in the, in the second group. Um, um, so I was paying really close attention. And I was shaking, I remember, as I'm holding the gun. 
And also the stance was really weird. He had me stand in. It felt almost like I was bending over. Like I had to completely lean forward. But I was following every instruction to the teacher. So as I'm pulling the trigger, I'm, I'm going through my head all the little things that everyone says. Release it on the exhale and you squeeze the trigger slowly. Don't just pull it. You like slowly squeeze it and that you don't brace yourself for it. You just kind of exhale and let it go. And uh, so I just followed the instructions. I thought it was going to recoil a lot more than it did, but it was just kind of just a slight little bounce and I loved it from the first shot. When I finished with the first clip, um, I couldn't even really tell where my shots had landed. I couldn't see that far. All I know is like I could see the X through the site, and that's all I had to go by. <laughs> so uh, when Joaquin came up to to check on how I was doing, he didn't bring my my page up so that I could see. He was just ecstatic. He's like, "This is amazing. I've never seen anything like it." And I'm like, "What? What did I do? Like, I didn't. I had no idea." So when he loaded my second magazine, um, this one went a lot more smoothly. I just one after the other just popped them off, but the main thing I was focusing on is just keeping the sight right in between the two lines and matching the X up and then the exhale every time. Like well, after I finished the first round, I uh, pushed the little button to bring the target forward and uh, I saw I hit the target, so I just knew anywhere I needed to go next was, you know, in the middle, but uh, I didn't quite get there. I got close, but not all the way there. Mm. Well, after I finished my first clip, I knew exactly where to shoot, exactly where I needed to go, and exactly where the bullseye was. Needless to say, <coughs> I got all of my remaining shots dead center. Yes, take that, <laughs> professional. <laughs> Mr. Olympia Ronnie Coleman, it's back into the classroom to be scored and crown a winner. As you can see, we did a little shooting at the range today. I shot the big gun, the AR-15, and uh, as you can see, I, I did a little damage. <laughs> okay, what we got? What we got for the rest of the guys? Uh, they had a little immunity challenge today. And the uh, winner of the immunity challenge gets to uh, be you know, kind of like uh, uh, exempt from disqualification, I guess for tomorrow maybe. And that person can choose themselves or they can choose their best friend. But the best part of the uh, uh, immunity challenge is you get a chance to stay in the master bedroom. 
And we all saw the master bedroom today, and it's probably about that's the size of some people's houses. <laughs> so uh, we all want to stay there. I guess we can just bring up the uh, score sheets and we'll score and then figure out who the uh, winner for. Okay, Shelly Cannon, come on up. And uh, she has a pretty good score. So it looks like she got easy in, in the center. So automatically that's going to be a perfect score. <laughs> so that's going to be hard to beat. Right on. All right, James, come on up. Yeah. It's shooting. We go back into the class. And, yeah, I'm a little nervous because even though I'm an expert, not really, I'm just kidding, um, I saw that... Uh, and uh, James uh, got uh, pretty good. One, two, three in the middle. Got the we overlapping got, oh, shots. Yeah, we got the line is being inside. Yeah, we call it an ever team on the targets. Yeah. Of course, there's more than the X, is more points, but any time points is on the targets. This target is a National Rifle Association official competition one, so there's been anything out of the blue is out, completely out on that. Okay, come on up. Okay. Okay, they could be a two. Mrs. Davis had a little, some bullet holes up there and over here and down there, and I knew that wasn't in the grid, so there was a slight chance. Well, it was. You had shot him on the top of his shoulder. He didn't even hit him. Those weren't even shots. You shot some innocent bystander, <laughs> some woman shopping or something. I don't know what you hit. So that made me a little nervous. We got our scores. I was somewhere up in the upper 90s or mid 90s. I got like an 86. Roger, come on up. Well, you got a pretty good score too. Emmanuel, come on up. And he complained, huh? And he complained. Look at that. Yeah, he got a one win. Yeah. Awesome sport. Perfect score. Look like Perfect that. score. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> They're points. Yeah, he got perfect score. They're points. I get the better. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, come on up. Jazz got a good, he got a good score too. I can see him way back there. Uh, yeah, he got a good score. He only got, he ain't got a perfect score, but he got a good score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> Alexis, Alexis, come on up. You can laugh. It's okay. Don't be offended. Alexis did real bad. <laughs> Actually not. Pretty much good. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. Oh, it's the first time, so. Not no, it's not my first time. Oh. It was crooked, I swear. <laughs> Isabella Ferrari, come on up. See how you made it? <laughs> Let's see what you got here. Not too bad, not too bad. Get your score.
Mike Simkoviak, come on up. <laughs> See what you got. It looks like a perfect school. Just be looking at it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, after careful ob observations, which is not easy, not hard to do, the winner here is going to be Life will put you to the test. If you want to be extraordinary, you have to break it down, then build it back up stronger. It starts with a decision in your mind, and then your body will follow. Pain is just weakness leaving your body, leaving behind the strength you never knew you had. Become beautifully unbreakable. Womensprotein.com Before the break, eight-time Mr. Olympia Ronnie Coleman was about to announce the winner of the shoot-off elimination challenge. Okay, after careful ob observations, which is not easy, not hard to do, the winner here is going to be... Shelly Cannon. <laughs> Shelly Cannon. When they told me what I won, I was just ecstatic because when I first toured this house, this master bedroom, the closet especially, I fell in love with and I was so excited. Like, I wanted to live in the closet itself. Okay, Shelly Cannon won the challenge, rightfully so in some ways or degrees, uh, but then when we heard the reward, we're not happy because she wanted that, that prize. Yeah, so. She took her first L, we took it in stride. So what they told me I had won was immunity, and by the way, that's huge, and the master suite, and I could share it with whoever I want, and of course I'm gonna pick Alexis. <laughs> so that was easy, but we moved in. As soon as we got in the house, we ran and got our stuff and brought it in, and I unpacked all my stuff into the closet. I have like my shoes on all the, the racks, I got all my clothes hanging up. I, I'm getting so spoiled. I do not want to go home. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> Well, whenever Shelly Cannon won the, um, the shoot-off, like, you know, I was happy for her, obviously, but... I think the shooting instructor... Yeah, and the shooting instructor was, uh, on it. <laughs> he was helping her a lot. She, she never shot before. Yeah, the a cannon. Cannon. <laughs> cannon. cannon. <laughs> You're watching House of Hugh. On the next episode of House of Huge, the cast gets in their very first workout. They take Costco wholesale by storm to load up on protein. Asian chicken wrap and I found a hottie in the bath stuff. We don't really want to show you, it's kind of top secret. So back up. No. <laughs> we got some... Like 10 gallons of oatmeal cookies. Fruitcake. 
and they get expert diet and shopping advice from eight-time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie's shooting. My, my, my. <laughs> now, I don't want to say this the wrong way, but damn, Ronnie, I think you should have held on that gun a little better than that. It made me a little nervous. Um... You know, and I asked him, I said, Ronnie, this is the first time you shot the AR-15? He said, no, we uh, we shot the M-16, we shot the AR-15, <laughs> you know, we was in SWAT. So I know, you know, Ronnie had a little experience, but damn, that gun looked like it lifted his big ass off the <laughs> top. <just> like him. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love Ronnie. We think he's great, but I don't know. He sure wasn't yep, yep in that gun the way he yep, yep those weights, but... <laughs> You know, practice is everything, so we are all out of practice, so we'll let it go to that. Slide. Yeah.